Instead, he roamed his temples and exhaled loudly. <sighs> I don't think I can exhale loudly, actually. <sighs> there we go. I exhaled loudly right through the pop filter. Care opened his mouth to interject, but seemed to have thought better about it. He said, oh, I already read that. Whoops! Da -da -da. Try to include something more battle-oriented. I don't know if fighting other heaven kind would count as an ideal experience. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can do. For now, let's get to the altar tomorrow and see the marketplace as well. I'm exhausted. So, mu so much happened today. Of course. Oh, of course. I'll see you in the morning. Thanks. Thanks. But it's still bright outside. Don't oversleep, Care. Ch Ch At least I won't be poked with a stick. As Imari headed for the garden, Kara took a step, then paused before glancing back. Look, um, Look, uh... Is this one of your reluctantly admitting something confessions again? Sh shut up! Sh shut up, Mom! Don't tell me what to do, you're not the boss of me! Sh shut up, it's not. Fine, it is. Okay, Kara, I'm... Shows I'm understanding you better. Is it about the fight? Uh, <sighs> yes, I might have acted a little harshly with you when you were obviously feeling down. It's okay. I guess my reaction was a little... immature. I'm surprised you didn't leave me there. <laughs> Ch leave me. The thought crossed my line, but Amari wouldn't have approved. Oh, about sorry about that. Well, I'm sorry for snapping at you. We do seem to make me sleepy and want to yawn, even though I got up like 12 hours ago. We do seem to rally each other up. I'll try to be a better friend to you. Friend? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we've already been through so much together. I consider you both of you, both you and Amari friends. Or it seemed to have startled him. Yark really mumbled a goodbye and departed. I guess that notion never occurred to him. Well, Laura Lee, I'm talking to myself in third person now. You're a knight in training. Time to start acting like one. Squeal like a schoolgirl. Because that's something you gotta do when you become a knight in training. You just gotta squeal like a schoolgirl. Jumping up, I entered the lodge. Eager for the next day and the adventures that we bring. Chapter 6, Not in Training! <laughs> now this is a real cave. Droplets of water echoed in the puddles as we walked carefully through the cavern. Carrie led the way happily. You sure? It looks like the last one we were in. <laughs> are you kidding? There's more tunnels. Its sediments are mostly limestone, and the roof is higher. Of course. Of course, leave it to an earth dragon to know his surroundings. I like underwater caves. They make great layers. The Mari seemed cheery as well. The numerous branching tunnels made me nervous, but my companions seem unfazed by it all. Uh, I don't get it. It's like you know where you're going. Dragon intuition? Care groaned and Mari shot me an impatient look. Actually, we came here early. <laughs> Thanks to a heaven kind's help. So much for that promise not to wander off. I am sorry. I know, but Kara was determined and I didn't want him to let him out of my sight. However, Master Bedro wishes for him to be accompanied by humankind and each altar to prove he's not going straight from one cave to the other. And not just any havenkind, but it has to be one there with him the whole time. Wouldn't your word be good enough, Ilmari? You're overseeing the whole thing. He shifted nervously. Um, uh, well. not... Well, not really. Sounds like you have no influence here. Why are you even here? You're just the third wheel, cramping my style, Umari. Though your hair is pretty uh, swiggity swa, though, I've gotta say. Something like that. <laughs> An arched eyebrow, dubiously. Before I could question further, Kara announced we had arrived. 
There was a small carved statue of an earth dragon set on a block. Carrie just an accusingly at it before turning to me. Ch eh. 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 They even try to make impressive ones. I think we would be pleased with this. A life size one would be more worthy. Go humbly beg for his forgiveness. Gave him a gentle shove and stuck out my tongue. He glared, but his usual intensity had diminished somewhat. Whoops. God, I had like seven pens on my desk and I didn't even notice. I was planning to remain where I was, but I saw a murder retreat to give Kara some space. Not staying? I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Uh, I don't want to feel like I'm eavesdropping on a private conversation. I reflected back on the argument at the first altar. Doesn't seem that personal to me. And you can only hear Care speak. Sure, uh, sure you can. That did not convince Amari, and he merely kept walking back until he vanished outside the bend. Maybe Amari had a point. As I turned... Whoa! Hey, where are you going? To give you some privacy? Did you forget already? You have to stay. You're heaven kind. Right! Right. Right. Yeah. That's that's right. I am. I shifted my weight until I felt comfortable. I kept my arms behind my back as I watched Karen kneel down and close his eyes to focus. Moments later, his ears perked up. Yes, she's here now. So picky. Hmm. <laughs> yes, we left a... Uh, Perry... Berry. And help something called a carriage get to Oliver. We were attacked. Heavenkind fists are pretty useful. I covered my mouth as I smirked at the comment. From there, Care chronicled the sights and sounds of the plaza. Heavenkind liked to pretend to do things they actually can't do for the sake of people clapping. They're driven to perform odd things. Like eating fire. Is that even edible? He also mentioned the presence of other dragonkind. He included his account and, after a few minutes, stood up. He placed one hand on his hip as he stared at the statue, deep in thought. When I was sure the conversation was over, I approached him and leaned in. Is that everything? Yeah. Did you say how many altars to visit afterwards? Thankfully, only a few left. There's many around Oliver. <laughs> yeah. So I leave it in your hands to you get some interesting night quests. Let's do this. Let's do this. You can count on me. I think I still owe you a visit to the marketplace. We can restock on some supplies. Rejoin to Mari and return to the bustling. I was going to say bursting, but it's, it says bustling. Market of the Central Oliver. What I thought would only take the morning I ended up going straight to mid afternoon, given how much we explored all the various shops and stalls. At the end, I was pretty much haggard. I slumped down on the bench between my companions, blankly gazing at the sky. It's like babysitting kids. <laughs> Overgrown kids. And Mari was happily clutching a small glass blown bubble. He held it up, and a transparent blue surface shimmered like waves in the sunlight. Wow. wow. Still can't believe you bought this for me. I never had anything heaven kind before my made before. How could I not? You were making that face. This one? Fucking that one. Assuming the epitome of sweetness and innocence that had crumbled my defenses before. Yes. Precisely. Maybe he wasn't so sweet and innocent if he was using that face to his advantage. Care was nonchalantly stuffing his own face with various desserts and pastries. I placed a hand over my forehead before sliding it down to my chin in aggravation. I said to eat a few, not all of them. <laughs> At least we found something he likes. For if it was something that wouldn't give him a sugar rush. Kara pursed his lips but said nothing, since he was still preoccupied with chewing. Now that we were all settled, I stood up and stretched. Argent Valor on my mind. I'm going to check the guild and see if there's any postings I can accept for tomorrow. Get something to do with fighting. I prefer if it was more a peaceful one. I'll see what I can do. Doubtful I can find anyone one that'll please you both. Give them a quick wave, tending not to take too long as I headed for the guild. 
Inside the headquarters, I surveyed the giant board, hoping to find something that would catch my eye. Uh, which one? Which mission should we do? Wait, I get to pick? Oh my god, I get to pick. Alright. Battle tournament. Are you the greatest warrior in the guild? Try and find out. Reward. Bragging rights. <laughs> Go fishing. Sapphire, salmon are in season. That handwriting is really small. Unable to fish, can you catch three for me? Cost 15 koi. Because the pages rolled up. Avatero feathers. I believe the lead for a baller and I simply must have some Avital Avatero feathers to adorn my black swan costume. Reward 150 coins. Save the chickens. Why is all of this? Oh my god. So small. Okay, I'm gonna read the biggest one. So intense rescue mission. I need to find this important person now. Reward 10 coin. Alright, save the chicken. Oh, my chickens have been have disappeared lately. Please find out who is responsible. We supply of eggs. Horned gazed apple tarts. Need 10 jars of honey from red bee hives for a new recipe I've been developing. Reward free samples. Hopefully you can hear me when I lean past the microphone. Uh, well, oh my god, this one's so small. Gather five nightshades. I need these completely harmless herbs for something not sinister. Hway, 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 hway. Reward, 50 coins. That doesn't sound terrifying at all. Um, let's go fishing. <sighs> Never the patience for fishing. This task nearly took all of us. Nearly took all day. Well, you seem happy. Oh no, that's uh, Ilmari. Never mind. While Ilmari was watching the bait, Kira thought it would be hilarious to push him into the river. We learned that Amari couldn't swim in his heaven kind form. Carol learned how far Amari's neck can extend from shore when he's in dragon form. Amari decided it would be faster if he just found the fish on his own. I had to shout to him not to bother the boats though. He seemed to enjoy this mission a lot. Wait, we're doing all of them? And apple tarts! As soon as I read the post out loud, Care wouldn't have it any other way. Getting honey from the aggressive bees was nearly impossible until I mentioned that bees don't like smoke and that it would drive them away. Amari thought conjuring fod would produce a similar result, but I found out it didn't. Not at all. Luckily, the baker felt so guilty or scared that he doubled the reward for Care. Amari and I secretly wanted to nibble on the tarts but decided not to ask after all. Despite the stings, Kara was satisfied and claimed it was the best thing he had ever tasted. The end. Which mission should we do? Um. Save the chickens. Oh, this is Kara talking. This mission was rather simple and boring when all you have to do is mend some holes in the fence that the farmer overlooked. Amara was captivated by the chickens, though. He wouldn't stop following them, pestered the tiny yellow things even more. Aura warned him repeatedly, and Amari learned that if one annoyed the chickens long enough, they would gang up on you. Heh <laughs> <laughs> heh. <laughs> Let's see his curiosity getting him into trouble. Heavenkind sure keep a lot of animals for food and clothing products. Or accidentally slipped out some thing about the sport of cow tipping and I immediately tried it out. We didn't get our eggs we didn't get our egg reward after that. I can imagine. Um Orly Oh, this is Amari. They're what are they all uh, narrating a different one now? Orly immediately jumped at this one, thinking it was a crucial quest. She was disappointed when it turned out to be a child missing a cat. But it's determined to help no matter how big or small the task. 
We looked all over Oliver and found the cat stuck in a tree. 